everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another day of devotions as we are encountering God this week. I am so glad you have come to join me and spend just a little bit of time thinking about how do we encounter God? Because in that journey, that spiritual quest, that spiritual journey you and I go on, um, there is this moment of encountering God uh, as we leave the things that we once were to move into what God has created us to be. And God is faithful to encounter us. We've been talking this week about the ways. Let me remind us of them. We encounter God through faith. You've got to start with faith. And um, God is the grantor of that faith, but we have to embrace it for ourselves. We encounter God through prayer and being still as part of that prayer time and listening to God, listening for what God has to say to us and how God might affirm us and how God might reveal to us the things that we need for the day and for our lives. Today, we're going to be talking about encountering God through Thanksgiving, through Thanksgiving. And I don't know if you ever did this in Sunday school, but I sure did as I was growing up. And if you didn't, it's okay. But I really encourage you, as I did, to go to this psalm. There's one psalm that I memorized a long, long time ago, and it is in my heart. And every time I say it, it has the result of Thanksgiving. So what is it? It is Psalm 100. You remember it? Let's say it together if you know it by heart. And if you don't, that is okay. Just listen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before God's presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Woo! How do you feel when you hear those words? How do you feel when you say those words? You can read it and say it out loud because I will tell you the truth. When we enter into an encounter with God through thanksgiving, there is something that bubbles up within you and me because we are made for thanksgiving. We are made to acknowledge who God is, that God is God and we are not. But as we come before God as God's people with thanksgiving and praise in our hearts, God enters into that. We are reminded that we are created for praise and thanksgiving. So how can we do that this day? How can we enter into Thanksgiving with our lives? Well, I have mentioned to you before that one of the practices I have is of journaling. And I journal my prayers a lot of times. I enter into prayer through silence. I enter into prayer with journaling. I also enter into prayer, we're gonna talk about this tomorrow, but sometimes I enter into prayer through music and singing. Um, but so let's take a look at how we can do that. We can begin as we have each day this week with a meditation, um, this time together, but also a time of silence as you meditate on the importance of thanksgiving um, for your heart um, and transformation, as well as um, having a joyful heart that leads us to recognizing those things for which we give God our thanks. The second is just to take some time to give God thanks. And normally when I am journaling, I begin with Thanksgiving statements. I begin by acknowledging who God is, thankful that God is part of my heart and my life, thankful that I am not in this journey alone, that God is with me, thankful for food, thankful for health, thankful for friends, thankful for family. I begin to name those things for which I am thankful and I can even, as I say those words right now, tell you I am experiencing a lift in my spirit because it gives me the opportunity to recognize that there are things to be thankful for in a world that tells us about all that is wrong. There's a whole lot that is right. And so let's remember to give God thanks. And so again, as I do that, it gives me the opportunity 
to um, reflect in my own life of how are the blessings that I have received and, um, and to say to God, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for being you, for giving me faith in you, for giving me strength, for giving me so many things and people and opportunities that I could not have done on my own. And God is with me. And I acknowledge that. And I am so grateful. May we have grateful hearts as we encounter God through the practice of thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm.